I haven't done this in so long. Okay. Oh, am I in focus? Can you guys see me? Am I in focus? I feel really out. I feel really, really short. Hi guys, how are you? Oh my gosh, this has been so long since I sat down and filmed a video. We've been away for quite a few months and I apologise. I think the last time I uploaded was in October 2017. So yeah, I've been away a long time, but I've had good reason. I think one of the last times that you saw me, I was like telling you I was engaged and getting ready to get married. And uh, yeah, guys, I did, I got married. So uh, we just got married. A few weeks ago I have now moved out of where I used to live and I've now moved in with my, my husband obviously and we've also <laughs> moved like away from everyone so quite a big transition basically I wasn't able to upload because I was really 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 busy like preparing for the wedding uh, preparing to move yeah there was just loads of stuff going on it's a big move it's a massive change so YouTube really wasn't a priority and I had actually ended up packing up all my stuff because I was clearing out so all of my products and everything I was clearing them out and I gave away a lot of my stuff I gave away probably about 50% of my beauty stuff I just didn't have the time the space to film or anything but now the wedding's over um, I'm settling into life as a married woman and um, I thought do you know what at the moment I I'm not really doing much so I'm like kind of trying to settle in finding a new job etc so I thought whilst I'm doing all of that I might as well get back to my creativeness and uh, yeah start recording again so I thought my first kind of video would be a back would be a review of a product I was I decided to get well my husband decided to get it for me so thank you to him I haven't really seen many reviews on this particular new product and also, I haven't really seen many reviews on darker skin tones, so or any reviews on darker skin tones at the moment. So I thought that this would be a good start to kind of get back into YouTube. Also, let me know what other types of videos you'd like me to do. I want to do more lifestyle and stuff because I do actually have a blog called Spoken Reveries and uh, I do talk about a lot more lifestyle there as well as beauty. As you can tell, my YouTube name has changed as well. So it used to be Beauty Breaks with Vicky, but I decided to kind of just incorporate spoken reveries into YouTube as well and just have one name. But anyway, let's get into this particular review. Okay, so Dior came out with some new products and I was very excited. I don't really shop Dior because you know, that's quite bougie and I, I don't have that kind of income <laughs> to be shopping Dior at the moment. Maybe once upon a time, but not right now. Uh, I saw that Dior came out with some new products and I was like, okay, looks good but I probably won't be able to get it and then I looked at the price tag of the products and I was a bit like oh okay it's cheaper than regular Dior line but it's still quite pricey let's just not lie about it now I've opened up my box already but it did come packaged in a really really lovely white box like this it came with a ribbon as well inside the box I got some samples so I'll just show you the samples came in this little bag like so um drawstring bag which I'm definitely going to keep and uh in the samples I got a J'adore perfume we got this Dior Addict lip balm or lip gloss lip maximizer it says now guys talk about sample size like look how tiny that is it's like like literally minuscule and then I picked up three of the new products now this new range is their backstage range so the line was created by Peter Phillips who's the creative and image director for Dior makeup and uh, he says that Dior backstage is a line that draws its inspiration from my work backstage so I'm just like reading from my phone it includes all my essentials in neutral shades with professional adjustable formulas allowing you work allowing you to work I think that's supposed to say with every skin tone so it's not supposed to be a line that's like bold and colorful or anything like that so i think i've had a couple of reviews say that they wish they did like color or something but that wasn't his purpose so i'm not going to criticize it on that fact apparently i've heard on the grapevine that this was um the makeup that was used on megan markle for her wedding 
uh, wedding day. I don't know, what did you think of her makeup? Be honest. As I'm trying out the products, I will kind of just tell you about them. So the first product I'm gonna try out for you today is the foundation. So this is the foundation and this is how it comes. It comes in a small bottle like this. It's actually like a squeezy tube bottle which is quite nice. I personally like this bottle. I know not everyone seems to really like this and some people are saying it looks quite cheap, but I, I personally really like it. So the foundation retails for 29 pounds and it's the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I know that MAC do a face and body foundation, but I, I've never actually tried the face and body foundation from MAC. Sorry, I can't actually like compare. The new foundation from Dior actually comes in 40 shades. So yes thank you very much dior because like we all know that dior's foundation shades were like not the one like really really not the one it, obviously this wasn't in store when i was buying it so i had to kind of select my shade online it seems to match me very very well the shade that i actually picked up is 7.5 n i'm not sure if you can see but that's all the shade ranges that they have there it's okay it's decent it says it's the dior makeup artist secret weapon to create an, an instantly flawless complexion with ultra building ultra buildable coverage from a natural nude glow to high coverage perfections. It has a fluid texture and second skin finish. It's ultra buildable, okay? And it's got a custom made intensity. I don't know what that means, but okay. So in rich with beauty enhancing pigments, the formula fuses with skin that glows for a perfect natural complexion in real life and through the camera's lens. So this is supposed to be great on camera, which is great because that's where you guys are seeing me uh, and it's a waterproof formula and it creates an invisible mesh on the skin and resists extreme conditions workout sessions water extreme temperatures and humid environments it even resists the bright lights both backstage and above the catwalk so i have actually tried this before i tried it when i first got it when i opened it up the bottle was like it was squeezing out of the bottle so i kind of just smeared it all over my face and used my fingers to rub it in and i didn't have to wear a primer or anything and it seemed to last really well on my skin and i've got oily combination skin so i was really impressed but that was just me like just lazily kind of trying it so i really want to see what it's like when i do a proper full face so it has 40 shades like i mentioned including 16 intensities and six undertones to apply it it says that you should use your fingers to gently dab one layer of foundation and massage it into the face look for medium coverage you use two layers and they say for medium coverage you should use a brush for full coverage use a brush as well so the foundation retails for 29 pounds and it says it lasts for 12 months and it's 50 ml, so 1.6 fluid ounces. A typical foundation is one fluid ounce or 30 mils, I believe. This is 50 mils and it's 1.6 fluid ounces and it's only 29 pounds. Foundations tend to be quite expensive, especially if you're like using, like buying from a range like Dior, like a higher end range. I think that's a really good price for a higher end foundation. And the fact that you're getting quite a lot more than your average foundation as well, I think, the price range in this is really really good so let's try this on so i'm going to bring you in just a little bit closer so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to prime my face and i'm actually going to take this bobby brown what is it the vitamin enriched face base moisturizer um, i've been hearing loads and loads of people talk about it and i have always wanted to try it so i got like this the travel size version it doesn't make me greasy or oily um like some of the moisturizers do some people like to use this as their primer but got oily skin and I really think that for me I need more defense on my skin than just a moisturizer this primer I've been kind of trying to use up is my makeup forever step one skin equalizer base mattify primer is it says shake up the foundation really well can you hear that it's quite liquidy probably just apply it straight onto my face so it's a squeezy tube as you can see only applied a little bit but you can kind of see the tube can you see that and also i didn't notice it to like oxidize or change color or anything like that when i used it so really impressed with it so just done half of my face you can definitely see the difference um there with the foundation what do you guys think i think it looks really nice the white part that you can see on my face, by the way, is my primer. So that definitely looks really, really natural. Just evening out my skin tone a bit. Squeeze some more. Oh gosh, I think I squeezed a bit too much there. So this is one layer of the foundation. What do you guys think? This definitely would work as a 
great summer shade for me but I'm not too fussed I can easily lighten this up with concealer and stuff but um what do you guys think about it so I'm going to try and build it up and see if we can get a fuller coverage because I can definitely still see like my hyperpigmentation but I'm just going to put a little bit more really like it with the application of the sponge so I'm definitely going to keep using the sponge with it it's not oxidizing it's not it's not changing any color on me or anything like that so I'm going to quickly highlight powder and then we're going to come back to the other products that I have so I've been using the new instant um and anti-age eraser concealers I know they're not new to the drugstore but for us darker skin tones they are new for us there is one more called hazelnut i've seen online which i'm trying to get my hands on um but yeah this is still quite light so i used it today and because this foundation is a bit darker than what i would typically go for it was like very very bright but i think it's kind of balanced out a lot better for me i picked up this palette this is the eye palette and uh, i think they came out with two eye palettes and I picked up the Cool Neutrals palette. I think they had a warm palette, um, but I picked up the number two, which is the Cool Neutrals palette. This is what the packaging looks like, the outside packaging is quite nice, silver packaging, and then you've got the shades on there as well. So you get nine pans in here, but inside the palette, you actually get eight eyeshadows, and then this shade right up here is an eye primer. Now, for me, that, that, looks really 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 light so i don't really know how that's going to prime my eyes i'm not sure how well you can see that but can you see what the eyeshadows are actually looking like uh, these tones aren't typically what i would go for they're more like mauvey purple kind of tones they come in this clear plastic palette it's not screaming dior to me to be honest apart from the the writing then says Dior but the packaging itself isn't screaming Dior it does feel a bit cheap but it doesn't feel so cheap that you're like okay it's very flimsy and um, I like the fact that they also have the colors on the outside as well I really love this color palette I, I think it's actually quite a really beautiful color uh, color range I haven't actually got anything like this if I'm being completely honest um, because like I said I don't typically go for colors like this I wasn't too sure what I felt about having a primer like a cream inside a powder palette like let's just use it today so I'm gonna take it on my finger and I'm just gonna apply it to my lids and we'll see what it looks like it's quite a light kind of base for me. It actually, in the pan, it feels very like, not oily, but verging on oily. Um, but then when I put it on my lid, it's actually quite a nice feeling. It's quite tacky. I'm just gonna take this pink color here and use that as a base. I'm not doing anything amazing here as an eye look, but I just wanted to kind of just play around with these shadows and just see what they're like. I'm gonna put like a transition shade in, so I'm gonna try these two. So this color, I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna try this color up here in the corner and then this darker plum matte color here. They do kick up quite a bit of product. So just bear that in mind. That's a really nice color actually. I don't know why I don't tend to wear these kind of colors more often okay and then I'm gonna go into the darker plum and again there's quite a bit of kick up here and again just kind of darken up the crease area I want to kind of do like a halo kind of look I think so I'm gonna put that dark plum on the outer V and inner V as well just kind of place it on there Then I'm going to take this kind of shimmer purple right here and just pack that next to it or oh, on top, I have no idea. Let's just place it somewhere. It's nice, it's kind of like a really subtle shade. I'm going to take my fingers and use this middle shade here which is like a shimmery lilac shade and kind of just pack that on. Ah, yes. That is pretty. 
Can you see that? So I got some fallout, but it wasn't too terrible. So I'm gonna kind of finish up my eyes. Okay, so I've done my eyes. Um, I quite like this palette. I think it actually looks really, really nice. Do I think it's worth the 32 pounds or whatever it is? No. Um, if you're in the mood for splurging on yourself, then I'd say, why not, you know? But it's not, mm, it's nice. It's a nice palette. It's not mind blowing and um, crazy pigmentation or anything like that. I saw that they came out with this highlighter palette and to be honest, it was the foundation and the highlighter palette that really drew me in to this collection. So this is the highlighter palette. Again, comes in a um, packaging like that with the details on the back. Um, but you get four powders in this and it's supposed to, it's their universal glow face palette in the dual backstage range and it comes with a white strobing powder which you can see here it comes with a gold strobing powder it comes with what it says is a blush which is this which is a bronzer blush and then it comes with a pink blush now on my skin tone i don't see myself using any of these as blushes because I just think it would, it just won't work as a blush for me. I wasn't intending to use them as blushes, I was just really thinking about them as highlighters. I'm a big fan of the Dior highlighters, so when I saw that they came out with this, I was like, this is amazing. I love the fact you can see each of the tones so clearly in this, like they each just look really, really good, don't they? The Dior highlighters definitely give me a like wet kind of look on my face as opposed to glittery um which i really like i'm gonna take the bronze shade and possibly the pink to kind of complement my eye look so let's start with the bronze first there's no kick up on this whatsoever so smooth okay let's do this oh wow wow okay It literally just gives you like that wet look on your face this palette is so pretty and if I look forward it doesn't look ashy or anything on me it just gives me such a beautiful tone and then I'm gonna take the pink shade That's so pretty. okay that is like majorly intense can you see it's like it's not shimmery it just gives you that like dewy look I think regular Dior highlighters can like run around 30 something pounds, 39 pounds. This palette with like four pans in there is 32 pounds around that price. So I think it's a it's a decent price. It's still quite expensive, but remember what you're buying. This is a Dior range, so you're not gonna it's not gonna be cheap. So I'm gonna set my face. I've been actually using this Revolution Pro Supreme Matte. Uh, setting spray and I've really been enjoying it it actually keeps my makeup on for a very long time okay guys so this is it this is my face done with the Dior products what do you guys think I if I'm being completely honest I think for me I actually liked everything in this range if I was to say what was worth the splurge I'd say the foundation is definitely a good buy and I really 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 do like the highlighter palette but that's because I'm a fan of the Dior highlighters in general. The foundation I'm actually probably going to be using it on a regular basis. It feels very very light on my skin. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing any foundation at all. And I forgot to mention that when I put it on it didn't feel tacky. It just dried down. Um, so yeah it just it feels really really comfortable to wear. I'm going to do a wear test today because I can. So it's 11 o'clock. I've probably had this foundation on for like the past half an hour so it's since 10 30 maybe i'll come back later this evening um or later today and just give you my final thoughts on the foundation and the makeup and just show you how everything has lasted anyway guys hope you have enjoyed this and i will see you guys in a bit hi guys so i'm back it's been about six hours ish roundabout just over six hours uh, since i last spoke to you and uh, this is what my face is looking like so as you recall i am testing out the dior foundation dior backstage products the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter palette and this is what it looks like after about six hours ish of wear what do you guys think i think it still looks quite decent to be honest it has been quite a hot day today so um, this is what it's looking like and I think this is kind of like the best day to test this out because this is supposed to be like a waterproof humidity proof kind of foundation and so you can kind of see what it looks like on me um, 
obviously I am wearing highlighter so any kind of shininess that you kind of see is a lot of highlight but apart from that you can also see what my skin is actually looking like personally I think this foundation has lasted really really well um it hasn't come off at all it doesn't even transfer when I'm touching it like well I don't feel it, feel that it does anyway and yeah it just has lasted really well if I bring you in just a little bit closer I think you can kind of see can you see what it's looking like on my skin it still looks really decent now I am starting to get a bit more shiny around my t-zone area uh, but nothing too terrible now you can see see my highlight has not budged at all um the highlight is still on and it's actually making me look really really glowy and i did put highlight on my nose as well so um just to be aware of that i think if i left this foundation on a bit longer what i have noticed is that around my nose i feel like it would have broken up a bit more because i think it's at the beginning stages of starting to kind of break up around this part of my nose but apart from that it has lasted there are a couple of things i forgot to mention earlier about the foundation now the, the products that i picked up for the foundation are not the only products in the range it did actually come with a contour palette as well in the range but i didn't think the shades would match me as well so i just didn't bother picking that up and it also came with a lip palette as well i wouldn't personally use lip palettes so i just thought there's no point in me picking it up what do you guys think let me know down below have you tried it are you going to try it let me know what you think i will definitely keep you updated i hope to like post more regularly and yeah i don't i'm not going to be doing three videos a week i'm probably just going to have one or two videos a week um for now yeah i really hope you guys stick around and thank you so much for your support guys thank you for literally still being here um on my channel as well oh and thank you for helping me reach over 3,000 subscribers yes guys take care and i will see you in my next video bye guys